Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I've got a bit of a special video for you. So I'm working with the Freckled Fawn kits for June and I decided to do something a little bit different. So I'm working with the digital papers this month and um, you can see there that the papers can um, be, with the digital ones, the papers can be scaled so you can make them whatever size you want. So I've actually got three projects in this video. Um, so first of all, I'm going to create a scrapbook layout. So what I did was I took one of the papers and I just cropped it. So I just wanted that side edge to give me the um, rainbow effect strip. So I um, duplicated the strip and uh, printed eight of them. So I've got four of them going down the left and then four of them going across the bottom to give me a place to anchor my photo and also my journaling. What I also did was I used one of the other papers and on the other paper it was these speech bubbles. So on these speech bubbles again I sized them up and I actually added my journaling on um, on the computer, printed that on there straight away and then I printed them out, I cut them and I just stitched around them, um, I, I stuck them to some white cardstock and stitched around them and that is going to be my journaling for uh, this layout. So this photograph here was taken um, last month when we were in Florida and we went up on the, um, it's called the Icon, it used to be called the Orlando Eye, um, which is like the big wheel thing. And um, this was taken on a green screen. Um, my husband's auntie thought we'd actually sat on the wheel and went round like this. We most certainly didn't. Um, this was just a green screen photo, which, um, which I loved. So I've just used there, um, to back my photo, I used a paper from uh, last month's kit and I keep all of my spare bits of kit in together so if I ever want to pull anything um, from previous kits it's all there to hand. So I'm just using some red line tape to stick the speech bubbles down purely because it's got the stitching on um, so normal double sided tape might come away a little bit. So I'm just using red line tape for, um, for those speech bubbles. And I wanted some ink splatters. I should have done this before I put my um, bubbles down, but it's too late. So all I've done is just got a scrap piece of um, cardstock and um, just covering up my speech bubbles whilst I do my splatters. Here's a little tip actually. I found that you get a better splatter rather than flicking it with your um, the finger that you're holding the nozzle with. If you actually just tap it, you get better um, circle splatters. And um, then I went across the page a little bit as well, just to add in um, some more splatters just behind where my photo is going to be. And my photo is just going to tuck underneath um, that bottom speech bubble. There we go. And then I also used another one of the printables and that good times, I've just cut that out. And as I said, you can size it however you want. So, and you can print multiple, you can do whatever you want with the, um, the printables, which is, which is great. And you'll see the different projects that I've made um, with the same printables. So I think I've used just three out of the eight. Um, so there are more available um, on the download that you um, that you get sent, but I've only used three of them to make these projects. The rainbow one, the um, uh, the speech bubble one, and the one that's got the good times on. <clears throat> so that is project number one done. Project number two is a super quick, simple traveller's notebook. Um, and this is done in my... Um, pocket page notebook from Freckled Fawn. The bits and bobs that you can see in here, these are all from June's kit. So um, if you wanted any more information about the Freckled Fawn kits, then um, I will leave a link down in the um, description box below and you can go and take a look. And these are probably one of my favorite alphas. You get an alpha, the washi, enamel dots, wood veneers, and then the papers. 
um, every month or digital. Have a look into it if um, if you want more details. So yeah, I've sized it to fit the traveller's notebook. And then I'm just grabbing some uh, washi. And I want it to look like the washi is holding the photographs on. Now these are Instax photos, so um, I have put some tape <clears throat> excuse me, I have put some tape underneath them to hold them on. You can use this washi to stick your photos on because it is super strong. So if you wanted to have a place where you could flip the photo up and uh, put some hidden journaling underneath, the, um, the washi would help you do that. So I've just used a couple more of those uh, speech bubbles and that's where I've added on my title, Crazy Friends. And then I'm going to use the same things from the kit. So these wood veneers... Um, from June's kit so I'm just having a look where um, I want to include those on here and also just a few enamel dots as well I always think enamel dots just finish it off um, so they're one of my favorite things to use in any kit and I'm just deciding how many of them I want to use <clears throat> And I'm really sorry if you could hear my dog snoring in the background. She's having a little snooze. Um, <laughs> always the way when I'm trying to do a voiceover. Something else is always going on. So to stick the wood veneers down, I tend to use red line tape. Um, you can use wet glue, um, but because I'm doing it on top of the Instax and the, uh, and the washi, I needed something strong that I knew was going to stick. So I am using red line tape. Um, as it is a bit stronger and that is my traveler's notebook page done um, the photographs were taken at the um, I went on a retreat uh, earlier this month the go go getaway retreat and so I've got those scrapped in there now they're done the final project is something different I'm not too sure whether I've done any card projects on my channel previously but I just wanted to show that you can actually use these digital papers to be able to make cards as well I am going through a bit of a card phase at the moment um, where I am it's a great way to use up scraps and you know dig into your stash it's brilliant so um, the fact that you've probably got everything you need to be able to make cards <clears throat> um, just Get on and do it. Honestly, you can make a card in like five, ten minutes. This one took me, I think, ten minutes maybe. So all I've done there is I've just grabbed... Oh, you get the labels as well. Sorry, I forgot that from the kit. You get the labels also. Um, I just grabbed this label that says, Oh, happy day. And then I'm just doing a simple back stitch all the way around that just to give it some interest uh, because this is going to really be the only element that's on my card um, and that's going to be the sentiment as well. So simple back stitch all the way around just in some white thread and I've used all six strands of the um, embroidery floss as well and I'm just going to use some um, washi tape just to stick that down on the back just to keep those ends in and then I'm just going to trim around it so this is the easiest way to um, to do stitching so stick it onto a bigger bit of card first um, stitch around it and then cut it out um, I've done it a few times where I've ended up um, not leaving myself enough room to stitch and then the, um, the hole was too close to the edge and you end up ripping the edge of the, the card. So, yep, do it that way first. So stitch and then cut around it. Now, I needed somewhere for my little sentiment to go. So I'm going to use a bit of washi. Uh, the kits are designed to uh, match and this one is a rainbow themed kit so you can imagine this was this has been my favorite so far I love a bit of rainbow and I wanted to bring in some more um, ink splatters so again out comes the black um, Heidi Swap color shine and I'm going to stick my washi down I should really wait for the ink splatters to dry but I'm so impatient that I go ahead anyway. So if you are going to do this, just be careful that the um, the ink splatters uh, are dry before you um, go smudging them like I am lining myself up to do. So I've just added a little bit of foam there behind that sentiment and then um, using again some red line tape just to make sure that this firmly sticks down. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a few enamel dots. And the, these are my three projects done. In total, this took me 40 minutes. 
um, to do the scrapbook page. Obviously, I had some prep ahead um, where I'd done the, the, the printouts and the stitching on the uh, scrapbook page. But once that was all done, the, all, the, all these three projects took me 40 minutes in total. Um, so I'm really pleased with the results. I'm going to show you all three um, together here. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new, then um, do hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye.